Today I want to talk about at least 14 more jobs, careers that you could do out in the country that you, most of them you won't need a degree or anything like that. Many of them you could just jump right into. So let's get to it. Hey everybody, Chad Cruiser here with Health and Homestead. If you want to help us out, check us out on Patreon. Now the first one that I want to talk about is kind of like a doggy daycare, a dog grooming or a dog breeding. And so it depends on which one of those things you'd like to do the most. Now, uh, dog grooming is something that people always need. Also, breeding dogs is quite the thing these days. Obviously, people love designer dogs, not something I'm interested in. If you get the right breeds, they can be very, very expensive. You know, I have a friend, I think he charges maybe $2,800, $3,000, something like that per puppy. I mean, to me, that is just incredible that people are willing to pay that. I'm not, I'm not the guy, but you know, if that's something you're interested in, that's a great way to make a living in the country. Now, number two comes from one of the viewers of our channel and what they do, and I, I've met a man who does this actually. If you live out in the country, particularly in an area that has a lot of Amish people, Amish, you may know, they don't have cars, automobiles, these kind of things, and as a result, they often take their buggies, their carriages with the horses, but there are times where they need to go to the doctor, they have appointments, or to a funeral, various things, and because of that, they are allowed to pay drivers. And so some people can actually, one of the guys in our comment section on our, on our video on this in the past, he talked about how he has been able to make a decent living doing this. So this is another option. Uh, they're very enjoyable people to to spend time with, talking to, getting to know, and it helps them out and it helps you out. And so uh, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. This is kind of something that you could potentially do. Uh, you know, Uber in general, I don't know how really well that's gonna work for you in the country. It might, I have no idea, but probably not the best option, but something like that with the Amish might be a fantastic option. Number three, I was just down in Brazil for a month. I was speaking there, and while I was there, I met a couple who were building this beautiful house out in the mountains, a just gorgeous area. It was like heaven on earth there. And they told me they had been living in the United States, and where they got the money to build the house there in Brazil was they were doing RV delivery. Now, I know that you can't do this all across the country, but uh, many places you might be able to do it, and particularly if you go over to Indiana. Indiana is a place where if you're willing to drive over the road, you can deliver RVs. They said at that time, you know, this is probably a year or two ago that they were doing it, they were making about $10,000 a month. And now they did have to have a pickup truck and they did have to have one of those uh, fifth wheel trailers that goes on the back, if I understand correctly. And so that's not for everybody, but for someone who wants a job that doesn't take uh, you know, you don't have to go to school for it. You can simply get a truck, get a trailer, and start making, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars on, in a, on a monthly basis. People are looking for their RVs. That's another option. Number four, we already talked about doggy daycare, but what about just daycare in general? That is a great option. When I grew up, my mom did babysitting, and so we had several kids in the house, upwards, I think, of like 11 different children at the house all the time and it was a great experience for me as a kid. I really enjoyed it growing up, but that might be an option if you're a housewife, someone who may want to stay home. This gives you the opportunity to be with your own children and you could take care of some other children at the same time. And as a result, you can make a living while staying at home with the kids. So that's another option. Last summer I was over in Romania, I was speaking there, and some of the men, actually it was very common for the young men that I was running into to be coders. Now, they could make a living by working with American companies, Canadian companies, wherever around the world, and they could make a living, they could live anywhere, you could live out in the country. Now, one of the key aspects to think about as a coder, and by the way, going to like school or university to become a coder, you can totally do that, but you really, really don't need to do that. You can go on some of these short-term training online courses. You're actually probably gonna be better prepared many times than going to college for it. And so these short-term courses, anybody could do that. You could, as long as one of the key aspects is you do have to have internet reception. You don't have that everywhere in the country. So if you do, if you're looking for a country property and you want to be able to have a business based on the internet, make sure that you have either coverage, do, you know, satellites an option, but that's not the best option presently. It may be by the time you watch this video, that might be perfect, you know, in the future, but in some areas uh, that can be expensive and not really, uh, you don't have the greatest bandwidth for that. So, it, but that may change in the future. There are tons of businesses that are looking for coders. So check that out. Another option would be 
putting a, another house on the property if you live in the country with acreage, or also having something like a tiny house. These days, you know, people are happy to pay to experience what it's like to have a tiny house. If you have acreage, you know, you got 10, 20 acres, you could put it far enough away from your house that you're not really bothered by it, uh, by the people coming out there. And so you could set it up. It might be easy to, when they leave, you can clean it up and prepare it for the next person. But having a rental or a second house may be helpful for you. Another one comes from one of the viewers of our other video on this subject that goes by the name of Root Cellar, and they suggest that you could potentially do one of these roadside helps. One of these people who maybe you know your, your car breaks down and you're contacted by one of the insurance companies hey, can you go check this person out? And you bring to them gasoline if they ran out of gas, you help people with opening up their car. They teach you can learn how to do these things very, very simple. How to well, not break into a car, but in essence, that's what it is get somebody back in there as they block their keys under the car. And just being one of those simple, you know, somebody who runs around with, maybe you have one of the battery packs where you can, or just simple jumper, jumper cables for your vehicle. That is another job. Now, some of these jobs like this one, I doubt you're gonna make a full on living by that, but it's something you can have just on the side and you're in the country, you're probably not gonna need it all the time, but someone may call and that might be another simple additional income. Now, historically, the countryside was actually poor, but what's happening is, is a lot of people are moving from the cities to the country who do actually have money, and a lot of those people who do have the money are retired, and so they're bringing more wealth into the countryside. And as you get up into your 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, some people still stay in their house at that point. They don't want to do the same work that they would have historically done when they were younger, and so helping them out with cleaning windows and it's you know just looking into it you could make you know 30 to 75 or more dollars an hour simply cleaning windows and so people will be happy to pay you that because especially if they're worried about falling off a ladder and you're a young healthy person that is something you could get into with very very little overhead to get into it i mean all you need to do is buy the equipment you got some ladders and so forth you could go out there and in no time for you know several hundred dollars you could start your own business as a window cleaner now the next option is teaching, even substitute teaching, either one, they need teachers all across the country, especially now it's getting so difficult to be a teacher and I really respect you if you're able to hold down a job as a teacher, but the good news is there's jobs everywhere for teachers and so if that's what you want to do with your life or that's what you're already doing, you can probably do that from almost anywhere. Now the next one, you need almost nothing to get started and that's cleaning houses. And what I mean is you go into the houses and uh, you're a maid and you go into a house, you might make 25 to $90. That might be pretty normal for a house, but, but many people, depending on the area that you're in, and some areas are just simply more expensive and they're used to it, they're gonna pay you $150 to clean their house. So you're gonna vacuum, you're gonna dust, you're gonna maybe tidy things up a bit if I were in it, I would want to use the natural products because breathing in all those toxic vapors all the time, uh, to me, would not be the best thing in the world to do. So I'd want to use natural products there, but that can be an option where, I mean, you can simply go right into a business like that. Now this one's super creative and somebody in the comment section of my last video on this subject said that their son goes around, find, finds old barns and he contacts the owner of the property and says, hey, would you mind if I tore down your barn and took it away? Because you know, if the thing's about collapsing, people just want to get that thing off their property many times anyway. And so he takes part by part, he, he tears that beam by beam, he tears down the barn and then the, in, in the commenter's words, and then he sells the wood for outrageous price. And I know some people in the last video, they got angry talking about money and so forth. But uh, the fact is we do have to make a living. And you know, if a man doesn't work, neither shall he eat. That goes back to the old good book. And we do have to make a living. And I'm not saying you need to charge outrageous prices, but if people are willing to pay for that, they want that old wood from those old barns, you know, things go for the price that willing, people are willing to pay for them. And that's up to you. You can charge whatever you want. That's that's a personal issue for yourself. I don't, I don't do all of these different jobs, but you need to figure out how you can make a living doing the things that you enjoy, that you love, and that people may be looking for. And evidently, there is a serious market for this old, beautiful wood. Now, the next one actually comes from my friend, Andy. You may have seen my video where Andy had grown up in the Amish faith and he still plows his fields with a horse. I did 
a video on that before. And Andy is, for his children, is building a small building where they are making a bakery. Now they're in, in an Amish area there in Ohio and tons of Amish all over the place. And so people love to come out to the area because it's so beautiful. If you live in an area where a lot of people are driving by, having a roadside bakery, food, all kinds of things that you could think about, crafts, soaps, these kinds of things, having those a roadside stand or just a roadside shop could be a perfect opportunity, something like a bakery. The next one I also have a video on and that has to do with doing chimney sweep work. Now, I have a wood stove and that's how I keep my house heated and right after this video, I gotta go warm up the house anyway. Doing a chimney sweep work. You know, it's a little bit dirty. It's actually, for me, it's not that bad, but depending on the situation, you may get a little dirty. And that's another business you could get into, into for probably under $200. I mean, probably maybe under a hundred bucks. I mean, buying the simple tools that you need, going around a house as many people could do it themselves, but they don't want to. And so you, you know, watch a few YouTube videos, you'll know how to do it. You go around to people's houses and for, you know, a couple hundred bucks or more, depending on what the situation is, you could go in and out and within an hour or two, you could, you could be done with a job like that. Now, once again, not all of these jobs are you gonna be able to do full time. Some of them are just gonna be seasonal work, but that's part of living in the country. Some people have said in the comments, oh, you can't do that all the time. And that's true. That's also an issue with country living is many, many aspects of country living is kind of having several irons in the fire. Having multiple streams of income and ways to work is always beneficial at any time in the city or in the country, but especially out in the country. Now, another one is something my wife, she took training in years ago, and that has to do with massage therapy. And that's always nice to find a wife who can do massage therapy, you understand. But uh, beside that, that's also a great option to make a living. Now, you can do something like having people come out to your property. If you have a room set up for it, good to go. A separate room in your house, you know, you got a walkout basement, whatever it is. But having the option for massage therapy where you may make, I don't know, 65 to $180 an hour or more, depending on the region that you're living in and what people are willing to pay where you are. The other option is you may have one of the mobile tables where you go around to different people's houses. Now, I would say to be careful in those situations, you wanna know who you're going to, because obviously things could happen in a situation like that. That's why it's probably safer at home. And But that's just a great option to be able to do massage therapy, you can help people out, you're doing one of the healing arts where you're helping people who may be in pain, and you can also make a living at the same time. By the way, if you haven't seen our last video on 15 jobs to do in the country, check it out right here. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, check us out on Patreon. We love your help, God bless, and have a fantastic day.